It's 2017 and Old Time Radio DVD is still here. Check out our new customer ownership program and the lowest prices ever. Just go to oldtimeradiodvd.com for full information about this wonderful program. Don't forget our new program, 123 Ready TV. Folks, this is really a great app for Android and Windows phones, computers, and tablets. And it's only $19.99. In the near future, we will be adding a new component to it, Old Time Radio. It's a great product for 2017. Visit oldtimeradiodvd.com today. Place your order. You'll be glad you you did. for Juanita, I was listening. There is no time to listen. The cafe must be opened. The Americans from the Toluca Dam will be in for their food. Ah, the Americanos. From the way you behave, you would think they owned our land. They have brought us many riches, Father. They built the dam which will make the valley fertile again. That means that they bring money to the country. They also like the way I cook, which brings money to us. There's the door. We are not open yet. Please to open it. Ah, ordered about by my own daughter. Nag, nag. I thought when a mother died, I should be free. Ah, good afternoon, senor. Afternoon. My name is Lloyd Taylor. I just rode in and I want food. Good, honest American cooking and I can pay for it. I want it quick. When I say quick, I mean quick. Here, your food. Thanks. You don't have to throw it at me. And you do not have to throw the weight about. Pablo, my father, and I are used to serving American food. Even the ice water. Oh, is that so? Of course. We are the finest cafe in San Rosario. We feed all the workers from the Toluca Dam. They will come in here very soon. They will, huh? How many of them? That is difficult to say, senor. There has been much trouble at the dam. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Do not pay attention to him, Senor Taylor. He does not like the Americanos. Oh, is that so? Well, I guess I'm American, ain't I? Oh, there is nothing personal, sir. Nothing at all. I just hear the rumors. The fever it takes many of the men. The man Foster, who is in charge, he is a hard man. He also has the fever. Fever at this time of the year? I thought that only came with the rains. It is always in San Rosario. It is the water. But once the dam is finished, everything it will be different. Ah, that is why she says all the time, but it is not so. She only says that because she liked the new foreman, the man Ray Grogan. Father, that is not it true. It is true. He always gives the best to. I treat all the American workers the same. It is a business that we run here. You want to be rich, do you not? Well, at my time of life, it doesn't matter so much. <laughs> well said, old man. Riches are not everything. Oh, and uh, what would you, a stranger in these parts, know of our life? What would you put before witches? Well, I guess if anyone asked me that as a straight question, I'd kind of say, peace of mind. Yep, that's about it. Peace of mind? <laughs> well, anyone who stands in my way will have exactly that, a peace of my mind. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> I like a woman of spirit. Uh, sometimes they can have too much. Ah, here is the favorite Mr. Grogan and that other American, Mr. Landon. Excuse me, please. I will go to serve them. Oh, good afternoon. 
You have come for your usual meal? I think so. Please, Juanita. But, uh, what about you, Landon? Okay, I'll have the grub, but you can serve me a glass of tequila with it. Very well, senor. Uh, you better take it easy, Landon. That fire water's all right after hours, but we've got a job of work to do this afternoon. We've enough men off sick as it is. That's because I feel a touch of the darn fever. I'm drinking something a little more antiseptic. <laughs> you know, I figure that with a belly full of tequila, the fever don't stand much chance. No, I still think you should be careful. Are you throwing your stripes at me, Grogan? Just because you've been lucky enough to get promotion after only being on the dam a matter of weeks. Look, I've been an engineer all my life. I know more about building this sort of construction work than all the rest of you put together. And that includes your high and mighty Mr. John Forster. Forster. So you got a down on him too, have you? I haven't got a down on anyone. I just know that he's not going about the project properly. In the short time I've been here, it's quite obvious to me that not only are the specifications wrongly drawn up to meet the rains in these parts, but oh, Forrester's doing a shoddy job. Oh, is that so? Well, it's a good job he's sick and can't hear you, ain't it? It's nothing of the kind. I intend telling him the moment he's coherent enough to understand that what I'm talking about. And meanwhile, you're going to run the show your way, is that it? That's about it. Any objections? Yeah, so long as I get paid, I ain't complaining. Good. But just don't start trying to run my private life, Grogan. That ain't on the clone tech to anyone. Hey, one eat a beautiful. Hurry up with the tequila, huh? Now, look, Landon. I'm not interfering. I'm just asking you to be sensible. You know darn well that we're going to have the devil's own job to get this dam fixed by the time the rains hit us. We're short of skilled staff. The local people can only work under a direction from us. And head office won't fly another man out. You know that. Then we'll just have to struggle along on our own, won't we? Excuse me. Are you Grogan, the man in charge around here? Yeah, I'm very Grogan. I don't know that I'm in charge of the construction work. A fellow named Foster's the big wheel. Your food, senors, and your drink, senor Landon. Ah, thanks, beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> I need this. Why the curiosity, stranger? Oh, nothing. Just was wondering if I could maybe give you a hand. I've been engineering for quite some time. Oh, well, you don't look like a gang. You look more like a cow hand. I'd be careful not to let that drink make you say things you'll regret, mister. In any case, I ain't aiming my conversation at you. So you just eat, huh? And eat quietly like you was brought up proper. Say, who do you think you are? I'll tell you who I am. I'm Lloyd Taylor. And if you're short of staff on the dam, I'd be happy to present my credentials to Mr. Forster. Maybe I can do you all a good turn. You're awful sure yourself, ain't you, Taylor? I told you to keep quiet, fella. And I never tell folk anything more than twice. Get it? Well, now, Mr. Taylor, I guess we can soon fix up for you to be meeting Mr. Forster. As newly appointed foreman on the site, I was just saying to Landon that anyone that's any good is more than welcome. You just arrived in San Rosario? Yep. And as soon as we've eaten and you've freshened up, I'll take you to meet him. Sure. Sure, that sounds a good idea. I tell you, Krogan, that you're making too much of all this. I'm not, Mr. Forrester. Things out there in the site are far worse than when you took sick. From a dozen or so competent overseers, we're now down to three. You, me, Landon. You've been off for a couple of days. And from the way Landon's heading, I wouldn't give him longer either. What do you mean? But he drinks too much, that's what I mean. You're exaggerating. I'll be all right. So will Landon. I sincerely hope so. But we could still do with more hands. This man, Lloyd Taylor, may have an objectionable manner. But from his papers and the way he talks about the dam, it's obvious that he knows what he's about. Oh, so you've been showing him around, have you? Confound you, Grogan. Don't you know that the whole scheme's under strict security? Security? With every Mexican within a hundred miles working on it? That's a laugh. What's the harm of letting a skilled American engineer have a look at our problems? It's precisely because he is skilled that we have to be careful. The Mexicans don't understand that we're what we're doing, so it doesn't matter. But if this man Taylor happens to be in the employ of our competitors... He's not. He's out of a job. Although I still don't see what harm it could do if he were engaged by someone else. After all, you've got the contract. No one else can finish what you've started. Or can they? What does that mean? Nothing. Except that, well, you stand or fall by this piece of work, don't you, Forster? It's got to come out right for you. Come out right? Of course it will. Well, I hope so. Although, I feel it my duty to tell you that I've grave doubts. The reinforcement is nowhere near adequate. 
And you're using materials below the quality specified in the agreement. What? What are you saying? Are you accusing me? I don't know if it's an accusation, Mr. Forster, or a condemnation. But it so happens that Ray Grogan is dead right. What? How did you get in here? Simple. The door was wide open, and I heard everything you said. I thought I asked you to wait outside. Yeah, I know. But I figured you were in need of a little support. It's all just as Grogan says, Mr. Forster. You're going to need every skilled hand you can get to put matters right before the rains come. You hire Grogan here on the spur of the moment. I suggest you do just that with me. Oh? And if I don't? I guess that's too bad. Too bad for your reputation and for the lives of all those folk who are living down there in the valley. Because the way you have it at the moment, that dam don't stand a chance of standing up to pressure, Mr. Forster. Not a chance. Believe me, I know what standing up to pressure is like. Well, am I hired? Well, Lloyd, I'm sure glad you persuaded the old man to let you climb in on the deal. I haven't anything to lose, Ray. Nothing at all. Do you think we can do it? Providing we both keep our heads, I'd say the odds are about even. Yeah, that's about the way I figured it, too. Oh, uh, excuse me. There's Juanita Beckman, may I? I guess she must talk. Do you mind? Not at all. Go ahead. Well, well, well. Here's the new boy, Lloyd Taylor. Hello, Landon. Sit down. I'd buy you a drink, except that I can tell you've had too much already. Oh, is that so? <laughs> yeah, well... I haven't much time to sit wasting talking to you. I have other things better to do. Where's Juanita? <laughs> yeah, now, now there's a sight for sore eyes. I'd take it easy if I were you, Landon. Now, what do you mean by that? Just that Juanita ain't interested in you. She prefers Grogan. No man in his senses would get mixed up with one of those Mexican dames anyway. Is that so? Well, let me tell you that some of us have had considerable success since we've been down here. I'd also be careful of Grogan. Something tells me that where women are concerned, he can be mighty jealous. Just watch it, Landon. Just watch it. I'd hate to have to cut you down to size, boy. I really would hate it. Hey, Juanita, beautiful. Hey, how about another little drink, huh? You drink too much, Mr. Landon. And you have no right to be here in the back room. Say, ain't you interested in making money out of liquor? Ah, <laughs> uh, Juanita, you're... Interest in other things, eh, beautiful? Take your hands off me. Ah, oh, come on. You ain't all that particular. You was talking to Grogan just now. Oh, very palsy palsy. And I said, take your ugly hands and away from me. Supposing I don't care, though. And nobody can see us out here. How about a little kiss, huh? <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. All right. You're biting, are you? All right, you little she cat. I'll show you. Why you do it? Yeah, leave her alone. Why you filthy Americano? Papa, Papa. Stay clear, you old fool. I'm warning you. Drop it, Pablo. I said drop it. Is he dead, Lord? No, no, he'll live. The knife went lower than Pablo intended. I guess I just wasn't quick enough. Yeah, well, it was pretty smart shooting all the same. Where did you learn to handle a gun like that? You'll find out my history later, Grogan. How's the hand, Pablo? You think you're smart, Mr. Newcomer, eh? Well, just because you're quick with the gun. I tell you, I would have killed him. Then you should be pleased I stopped you. Even if I have busted a couple of fingers for you. Yeah, you scare the killing. Pah. You don't believe in honor. Oh, you... but I do. I care pretty deep about it. And as for killing... Well, I ain't got nothing against that, neither. Not when it's justified. But I figure Juanita isn't all that hurt, is she now? Oh, Ray. Ray, I, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all right, Juanita. Lloyd was perfectly right in doing what he did. If he hadn't interfered, your father would have killed Lantern. Well, that may not mean much to the side of the border, but it does up in the States. You can say that again. I, I want to go away from here. Please, please. Please, Ray, take me away. No. No, you stay where you are. The Americanas, they can get on best as they can. We stay here and we do not help them in future. Not one little bit, you understand? All of you. 
I understand, Pablo. But I think you're making a mistake. An awful great mistake. Well, Lloyd, looks like there's just you and me now. Yep. What's the report from the hospital? Oh, Landon will be okay. But I'll have to fly him out as soon as he's fit enough. It's going to be a hard work, Lloyd. Yeah, I guess so. We're not making nearly enough headway. You know what I think? I think we should abandon this section and concentrate on the reinforcement of the South Wall. Boy, that's a tall order. I doubt if we get permission. Oh, to the devil with permission. You know as well as I do, that wall won't stand up to the summer rains. It'll crack wide open. Why, well, already I can tell within an inch of where that dam will break. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. I'm just working to the book. Now, you ain't the type to work the books any more than I am. Ain't that so? Yeah, I, I suppose not. I suppose when you've got a job of work to do, you've just got to do it, regardless of other people's responsibilities. Yeah, I figured you'd think that way. Well, what about going to see Forster and putting it on the line, eh? Okay, if you say so. No, 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 I just won't allow it. I'm telling you that it's all in direct contradiction to every agreement that we've signed. We know that, Mr. Forrester. We also know that unless you allow us to revise the whole strategy, the dam will prove itself the biggest fiasco Mexico's ever known. Impossible! It isn't, you know. Lloyd's right. I've been over it all with him. I'm sure he's right. I see. So you defy me, do you? You take advantage of my, my sickness, my, my inability to be on the side in order to take over the whole construction job. Oh, no, it isn't like that, and you know it. I'm only doing what I think is right. Unless you allow us to detail off workers to strengthen the southern section before building the walls to their specified height, you'll be in for trouble. And not only you, but all those peasants who live directly in the path of the water that'll flow down that valley once the dam breaks. Are you... Are you suggesting that there's some major error in the building, that it's a bogus job? I've never figured out just what that word bogus means, Mr. Forster. I just know that sometimes things ain't good enough, and sometimes people ain't good enough either. I figure this is one of the times when both things apply. How dare you? How dare you speak to me like that? You're fired. Do you hear me? Fired. Oh, now, please, Mr. Forster, there are only two of us on our feet. If you think I can undertake to oversee the rest of the work, then you're out of your mind. And do as instructed, you hear me? Go ahead as per the instructions. And if I find out you've deviated one inch from the specifications, I'll have the company law on both of you. I'd think twice about that if I was you, Mr. Forster. You show up in an awful bad light. Let me tell you, Mr. Lloyd Taylor, that I'm not so sure about you either. I've read through your so-called qualifications, and there's a lot that doesn't fit in. Don't try to threaten me, because I've got an idea there's a great deal about you that you'd like to see remain hidden, too. Am I right, Mr. Taylor? Phew, what a day. Boy, well, you figure it'll work, Lloyd? Providing we don't go back on things, we should get to the south wall strong enough in time. And then? Then I reckon Forster will be over his fever. <laughs> he'll throw the book at us until our theories prove correct. Then he'll have to start thinking up so many ways of justifying why he made the alteration. Well, I've no doubt he'll do that all right. He's smart enough. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's a race, isn't it? A race against time and a race against Forster getting better. The job's the thing. You wouldn't want to be quitting now, would you, Ray? No. No, I'll stick it out. I was just wondering about you. What about me? Oh, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can get some music. Not much in the way of entertainment down here. The search for the Dunvale killer, now weeks old, still goes on. South of the Mexican border, activity has increased over the last week. The Dunvale killer, who is known to the police to be a skilled gunman, is wanted for the murder of Carp Hyman, the construction chief on a Texas Midway railway camp. Anyone seeing a stranger answering to the following descriptions is asked to get in touch with the local authorities straight away. Height around six feet, dark hair, well built. I guess we don't want that, do we? Huh? Don't we? I reckon not. As we've just been saying, we've got to work to completion. It's best not to let anything interfere with it. 
Any other of these here radios in the camp? Not that I know of. Well, let's make sure of this one. Hey, has a pretty violent reaction, isn't it? But necessary. I just hope that Forster doesn't get to listen into the news. Well, uh, there's not a radio in his place. The only other one round here is owned by Juanita, down at the cafe. Well, I reckon she's pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah, after all that's happened lately, I... I expect she is. Carp Hyman deserves to die anyway. Everybody in this part of the world knows that. Yeah, but as Pablo says, they take honor and revenge differently in these parts. Well, I still hope they never get the guy that did it. Murder is murder, though, ain't it? That's what the law says. Oh, to the devil with the law. Why, we're breaking it right now. Breaking our contracts every day. But we're doing it for a purpose. Whoever killed Hyman did it for a purpose. There are dozens of people who sleep easier at night because he's out of the way. It was rough justice, but, but good justice. That's for the state to prove, though, kid, ain't it? That's the trouble. Look, this country's quite a big one. Maybe you don't know it as well as I do. A man can hide himself away for a whole lifetime. Mexicans accept a man who minds his own business. I could tell you a thousand places where a man can hide. But I ain't interested. I'm just interested in getting this dam finished. Okay. Okay, Lloyd, I... I guess you're right. It's a race against time. Forster's illness. Rains. Now, who knows? Perhaps the sheriff's men? Three items now. Instead of two. So you still say that no one answering that description has visited this town in recent weeks, huh? Well, that's right. It's a quiet place, San Rosario. No one ever comes here. Papa is right, senor. Everyone in the town, they come to visit Juanita to eat. I should know the man if he had been through. Uh, what about the construction man up on the hill? At the dam? They come here, too. Mm. Well, I guess he'd never be crazy enough to latch up with a construction crew again. Far too much chance of recognition. Oh, you look for the man who kills quickly with the gun, not so? Uh, that's right. He's a quick draw, all right. Say, what did he do to that hand of yours? What? Oh, oh, this well, uh, I... Papa, did. he is not so good with the axe. When he chops the wood, he chops his hand. I tell him he will chop his head off one of these days. Oh, well, okay. Well, I... I'll be seeing you folks. And if you have any news, you'll let the men down in Port Chaco know, huh? Sure, sure we will. We will be too scared not to. We will come running, Sheriff. Have no fear of that. Okay. Be seeing you. Yeah, it's a bad business, this. Not so. See, Papa, very bad. And look. Look at the skies. It will rain tonight. And when it rains in San Rosario at this time of the year, then it never stops. Well, this is it, Lloyd. Don't worry. This wall will hold. I sure hope so. You've done a good job on this, Ray. I hope the folks around here will appreciate it. Could never have done it without you, Lloyd. Well, there's nothing for Forster to worry about now. All he has to do is to finish the job the way we've done this section, and he'll have a success in his hands. Maybe even prove what a great engineer he is. Yeah. Well, come on, let's get back to the camp. They'll break the news to Forster, I guess. Yeah, you want to? Oh, ain't no way of stopping and seeing for himself once he gets better, is there? No, no, I guess not. Okay, lead on. Well, now, just look here. A horse? Tell it outside Forster's shack. That horse ain't so strange, Ray, at least not to me. That's the sheriff's horse. Hey, you... You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Lloyd. Lloyd, you know what Forster's like. He won't cover up. I know, I know. Come on, let's go in. I knew that Pablo was lying, Foster. A right-handed man doesn't cut his own right fingers when he chops wood. That's why I skirted the town and the camp up here. The killer's here, isn't he? I swear I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it, Sheriff. I've been kind of sick with fever. Hi, Foster. Hi, Sheriff. What? Light, Taylor? That's right. Sorry I haven't been reporting back north of the border, but you see... Me and my friend here had a bit of work to do, putting Mr. Forster's dam to rights. Didn't we, Grogan? That's right. Okay, Sheriff. I'll not give you any trouble. 
Like Lois says, I only stayed to do a job of work first. You... you killed Carp Hyman? That's right. Like I said, he deserved to die. But I guess I'll have plenty of time to plead my case later on. Won't I, Lloyd? I guess so, kid. If you need any testimony, call on me. The sheriff here will tell you that before I joined the Texas Rangers, I was one of the best construction engineers in the West. I'll give you love to Juanita. Good luck, kid. You have been listening to Drama International. Join us again next week at the same time for more Drama International. Mm-hmm.